Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a what blessings are coming towards me. So we have group one, group two, group three, group four and group five. And if you'd like to take a deep breath and decide which group you'd like to choose. So let's start off with group number one to see what blessings are coming towards you. Okay, so group number one, let's see what you guys have for what your blessings are coming for. Let's have a look. So we have trust your intuition peace of mind, awakening your true self, worth waiting for, it is safe for you to love, heart to heart conversations, we also have the be fearless and bold, the badger spirit and then from the tarot we have the eight of wands which is really nice, king of pentacles and the five of wands. And then we also have a move from the deck that I have made. So, let's see what blessings are coming towards you. Okay, so I really feel like there's going to be a potential partner coming towards you because we have worth waiting for. So basically, this is essentially means that there's somebody who is in your periphery. It doesn't mean they're going to come in like this month, the month that you're watching this. But it means there's somebody who is worth waiting for who's going to come in, which is really, really nice. You're also going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person and... It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I actually thought I said open your heart chakra. So I feel like it could be a little bit of heart chakra opening. Um, you could also want to just generally think about opening your heart chakra. I feel like rose quartz is going to be really good to have around you. And then you can basically just, it helps you to open up your heart chakra more. So we also have trust your intuition, peace of mind and awakening your true self. So I feel like there's somebody who you kind of want to be with, who you're kind of trusting your intuition around. So basically also your intuition could be starting to get really, really high. You could be just generally working on your intuition. And there's peace of mind in this situation. So I feel like you're going to come into more peace of mind. I feel like you've kind of had a tower moment maybe in the last month or two. And you've had a spiritual awakening. And basically now you, I feel like you're in the peace zone where you're basically just having more peace and serenity basically in your life and you're awakening your true self and after this spiritual awakening you're awakening your true self you're coming into your own basically you're having more i want to say some more self-respect but you're understanding yourself more and how how to learn how to love so we have be fearless and bold so i feel like it's going to be a new start for you this could also mean that somebody is going to come in and it's going to be like shaking you up a little bit because it's going to be something that's going to be quite new but there's a lot of like new energy because we've got be fearless and bold and move so it's basically like there could be something coming in that's like going to make you really like get up and start to move forward but i love the fact that we that be fearless and bold is number four so essentially this means that there's a solid foundations being formed and we also got the Eight, eight of um, wands moving towards the king of pentacles so you could be moving towards more financial stability you could be moving towards like your own business like being more self like being self-employed this could also basically mean that you're going to be moving towards a earth sign or somebody who has like earth quality someone who's really like earthy um yeah so i feel like that's all i need to say is there anything that needs to come through I feel like you guys have worked on yourself really well and you're enabling yourself to be, not enabling yourself, you're like becoming more stable. So I feel like you've definitely had like a rough kind of last two months of being like this energy, like, ugh, like crappy kind of like ugh, energy. And I feel like you're moving like away from that now and you're becoming more open to new possibilities. And there's definitely going to be some heart to heart conversations. So if there's somebody you're interested in or you want to like start something up with somebody, there's definitely potential because we also have the eight of wands like right next to it. Oh, we also have the five of wands. I don't know why I completely missed this. So what is this? I feel like this is getting away from the conflict. I feel like you are moving away from conflict now. There could be a little bit of they're telling me rough and tumble. So like maybe like small like, arguments maybe, but I feel like this is kind of like I feel like this is more to do with your mind, to be honest. I feel like this is more to do with the battle of why am I not moving forward? But I feel like now you're like, I can actually see, I feel like you can see you moving forward. It's just kind of um, tapping into your intuition and making sure you keep thinking positive. And because you've got the King of Pentacles right in the middle, I feel like you could have had a bit of an argument with this person or you could have had a bit of struggle but now you're moving towards this king of pentacles it's like okay things are actually going to start moving now and you're going to start moving on to a more kind of flowy state 
essentially so I hope that helps guys I love the fact that we got awakening your true self right in the middle anyway so that's really really good essentially you're just awakening like this amazing new part of you it's gonna be amazing so I really hope this uh, helped and thank you for watching if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the uh, subscribe button's down below or you can also give me a comment if you'd like to if this resonated with you or if it didn't resonate just let it fly or you can choose another group also if you'd like to get a personal reading with me all the information is down below you can hit me up on my email or my instagram and i'll see you very soon bye hi group number two thank you so much for being here let's see what you guys got for your blessings coming in for you so let's start off with the fairy cards we have miracle healing we have family harmony we also have environmental awareness for your romance angel cards we have forgiving and learning unrequited love we also have layer solid foundation temperance Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and Growth. I feel like this is, that will came up first, didn't it? So that's like that. There we go. Okay. So, you guys are in a growth period. And I feel like you guys are going forward into a more healing state. So you're actually moving through growth. I feel like there's going to be a new opportunity for you to lay a more solid foundation for yourself. I feel like everything's been up in the air. And you've not known where to go. I feel like there's some sort of fight or argument or separation you've had with somebody and it's caused you to be in this state of how the hell do I get out of this but now I feel like you're moving out of that and you're moving more towards stability and emotional stability and there's going to be an opportunity for you to com come back, come back com communicate and collaborate with somebody and this is saying to me that because we've got the ten of pentacles it's basically like you're ending a cycle and becoming into a new cycle and there's going to be more where there's going to be more balance which is amazing i love that so much it's so good i love, I love temperance so we've got forgiving and learning and unrequited love with forgiving and learning i feel like this is in the past i feel like you're actually forgiving and learning from this person that you're interacting with if this is if this isn't anybody who's kind of coming in i feel like you're forgiving and learning yourself or you're forgiving and learning from a situation that's happened and unrequited love i feel like you're moving out of this because it is quite near to the three of swords so i feel like you're moving out of this you're moving out of not enough chemistry you're kind of like i actually don't want to deal with this anymore i want to deal with somebody who's much more who's much more nicer for me this could also mean a little bit of conflict between somebody but i feel like this is more towards the past or it's kind of coming out of that conflict now and um, this could also be with a friend it doesn't have to be of like a lover sort of thing so we also have family harmony and environmental awareness Okay, let's get a card for environmental awareness. What's the environmental awareness about, please? Okay, we've got two cards. So we've got Bless Change and a New Dawn. That is so nice. So essentially you're coming into a new environment. They're telling me you're coming into a new environment and you're becoming more aware of your surroundings as in like you're, you're situating yourself more in your surroundings instead of feeling like, oh, like up in the air sort of thing hope you enjoyed that all oh, that face oh, hope you enjoyed that face um so yeah you're laying a solid foundation now which is really really nice and i feel like some of you could be expecting a baby as well because we've got family harmony so we've got like there's a, a little boy on her back and i feel like there's also connection with children you could also um be getting a new sister or a new brother is what i'm telling uh, what i'm seeing for some of the younger viewers um this could also mean that you're coming into a more family situation that's more suited for you you could also be maybe getting engaged but like you're coming into a more you're connecting more with people you're connecting more with um your old family members i feel like you could also be forgiving and learning past family members who have like kind of let you down but we also have miracle healing so overall this i feel like this is the overall energy is miracle healing and growth because you're like right at the end this is definitely a time where you're going to be growing more into your body and you're going to be coming into a new change it's going to really kind of make you sprout wings they're telling me and i just love the fact that we've got temperance right at the end because it basically means yeah general balance so thank you guys so so much for watching and for clicking on this video i appreciate you so so much and if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and also you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to i appreciate that so much the information is down below and the subscribe button is down below there please comment if it's resonated and i'll see you very soon bye Hi group number three, let's see what you got for your blessings. So we have 
making new friends, make music, rise above problems. We also have religious factors, call it in your soulmate, we love that, so nice. Be peace, we also have communicate, we have the six of wands, five of swords, two of wands, and the queen of wands. Wow, we got a lot of wands coming in. Okay, so first of all, I feel like you guys are gonna be communicating to someone that it's gonna be a really nice communication because it's right next to B piece. And it's basically just, I feel like it, this card, I don't feel like this, this card actually, the meaning, the pure meaning of this card is just to be peace and kind of have rest. So I feel like it's resting before the excitement, basically. So I feel like you guys are gonna be communicating with a soulmate with somebody who you've had some time apart because we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So I feel like this could mean that you could be kind of telling me intertwined with somebody. So maybe you're kind of unsure whether this person's the right person because they might have different religious factors than you. Or this is basically means like it's a spiritual time for you because you're going to be rising above the problems that you have been going through, which is really, really nice. You're also going to be making some new friends, which is really, really cool. I love that. I love that we got this communicate card because this actually means that you could be communicating or they could be communicating to you. So it, this normally means an actual communication that the person watching this is going to communicate. But if this doesn't resonate and you feel like, okay, well, they need to communicate to me, it's their turn. They could be communicating to you because the fact we've got this is really sticking out to me. This card is also like falling out of the pile when I run. I need to have a look. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> we've got layer of solid foundation. So this basically means that you're gonna start laying a new solid foundation for yourself. Something is gonna start coming up and it's gonna be a more solid foundation for you. So the overall energy, like the energy we've got here is very like to do with wands, which means communication and means movement. So basically means that once you get this communication or once it starts moving, you're going to feel like the Queen of Wands. You're going to start feeling like there's more stability, there's more calmness, and there's definitely more peace. Another fact we've got P peace because it just feels so calm. This group feels so calm and like detoxified. It feels like you've really let go of some old stuff that you really don't need anymore. I'm getting like this sort of energy where you're kind of like... I can breathe again, that sort of situation. So we also have to make music. So it takes time to do stuff that you really, really enjoy. Do something that makes you, makes your heart sing, basically. Like, do something that makes you feel really, really good because essentially I feel like this new situation, that the fact that you've risen above problems and you're laying a solid foundation is gonna help you to feel like you're making music because it's like, wow, everything's kind of moving really nicely. With making new friends, I feel like there's going to be some new people coming towards you. I feel like there's going to be new relationships and new people that you haven't actually met yet coming towards you as well as people who in the past. I love that we've got calling your soulmate. Somebody's going to come in who is your soulmate. We also have the six of wands and the four of, and the five of swords. I feel like you're actually going to be very triumphant and you're going to start moving towards new endeavours that meaning like this can mean like travel this can mean you're traveling towards somebody this can mean someone just traveling towards you i feel like you guys if you are wanting to have communication from somebody is that the right way around no that's not is it um i feel like you're going to be moving towards each other because these two are like moving towards each other so you can see that basically you're essentially going to be moving towards this person okay and then basically it's just going to mean you're going to end up like the queen of wands you're going to end up triumphant you're going to end up very calm very situated like yeah i deserve this i really manifested this and i have really like earned this situation i feel like i need to pull out another romance angel so what anything else that group three needs to know what more blessings are coming in for group number three thank you very much okay two cards so we also have express your love and free yourself that's really nice i love this literally i love this combination so much whenever i get this combination i get really really excited because it basically means that you are freeing yourself from a situation and you're communicating how you really really feel and you're essentially just communicating like properly on a deep deep level because expressing your love is so like intimate i feel like it's such an intimate thing because it means you're really giving yourself to this person wholeheartedly and not kind of taking anything back like oh i don't really want to express myself because maybe they'll like i don't know say something bad or reject me or something but it, it's basically like free yourself from this toxicity free yourself from any negative emotions that you feel like you need to 
get out because basically I feel like if there's somebody who you need to wait on communication for I feel like they're actually freeing themselves and expressing their loves towards you as well the fact we've got rise above problems really just kind of is basically the overall foundation it basically means that you're gonna also make music be coming into a happier place and you're rising above any issues that you had in the past that have kind of I feel like there's just a lot of movement here and the fact we've got a lot of ones basically means there's a lot of movement a lot of communication, a lot of movement, love, love, love this so much. So, thank you so much for watching. If this resonated with you, then please comment down below. Um, also, come back to this video if you feel like something's happening, you're like, oh my god, um, and then come back maybe if you feel like it hasn't resonated with you yet. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel down below, the re red button's right down there. And also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, then all the information is down below and on the screen here. Uh, I also have an email address and an Instagram if you want to communicate with me on there. So thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for clicking on this video. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what your blessings are. So we have higher consciousness, quiet time, sexuality, magic of nature, and for the romance angels we have healing family issues release your ex true love and getting to know each other reclaim your power and we also have the high priestess chariot and star <laughs> oh my god this is so nice i love this this is so nice and we also have transformation and the world guys you have like the best pile <laughs> from what i've seen like from what I'm feeling as well, it just feels so like, ah, oh, like opening, things are happening, things are changing, let's get this shit on the road, bitch. Okay, so you're releasing your ex and you're getting to know someone new because your true love is coming through. This could also mean that your ex is releasing is releasing family issues and you you will be reunited with them if you want to be reunited with them. If not, it could also mean that someone who wants to who you want to communicate with is healing their family issues and they're going to come back to you because you're going to get to know this person and you're essentially going to be in true love with this person you're going to start to reclaim your power now because you've had the quiet time to sit and think and really kind of be in your power and you've really been connecting with spirit on a high conscious level you could also be connecting with this person on a high conscious level you could have like um telepathic communications with this person because we also have the star which means kind of spirituality and higher power we also have the high priestess and the chariot these are really good cards so it means you're really kind of coming into your power and that means you're moving forward now so now you're coming more into your kind of like i've healed my shit i've done some stuff i've healed my family issues and really getting on the road and now you're on the road to moving forward which means you're essentially just going towards some really good stuff and the chariot is going towards the star which is really really nice i love the fact that we have transformation in the world it basically means you're ready to transform and you're coming out of your shell you're coming out of a hermit mode essentially i feel like you're coming out of hermit mode and you're really starting to express your sexuality i feel like you're um but when you're becoming more embodied of this kind of em empress energy it's queen energy you're starting to know who you are more and you're kind of not letting people run your life anymore and getting like run your life run run your world essentially you are basically taking back your power and you're really kind of figuring out what feels good to you you could also be like to go on walks and like to kind of go outside i feel like you need to go outside more as well because i feel like this is going to really help you to be more calm i'm getting like a really calm but buzzy energy i'm feeling like you're more kind of but I'm getting courage. I feel like you're coming into this courage and you're kind of like, let's move forward. Let's go forward. I definitely feel like you guys are going to want to travel or travel towards somebody or someone wants to travel towards you. And it also means you're having like a 360 on your life. You're essentially just kind of moving like this, like really going from like the shit to like somewhere really, really good. You're essentially having a new life path is being put in front of you and you're starting to go more towards this life path meaning that you probably will meet someone on that time you could also be improving your love life with somebody who you're with already but i see more for singles this is going to be a really good time because where you're reclaiming your power it's going to be a time where you're essentially just moving more into who you are and people are seeing that people are seeing this gorgeous energy towards you so that's what i need to say i essentially need to, uh, there's one more thing i need to say with the higher consciousness is the fact that you guys are using your spirituality to the best ability. I feel like a lot of you from this pile 
are very 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 intuitive you know what you want and i feel like since having i feel like there's been a tower moment before since having this tower moment it's essentially going to mean that you are now moving into a more spiritual state you're more calm you're figuring out what feels good to you you're letting your emotions flow it just feels really really nice so well done to you guys i can feel like your achievement right here i feel like i'm giving you an achievement you guys deserve a medal <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you comment down below also subscribe to my channel my name is the crystal girl also if you would like to hit me up on my email or my instagram if you would like a private reading all the information is down below so thank you for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye hello group number five so let's see what blessings are coming towards you okay so now you can actually see what i'm doing so we've got new location we've got romantic partner and we also have beauty so now you can see what i'm doing which is good I've zoomed out a little bit so we also have stay optimistic about your love life reconciliation wow <laughs> you guys have got a really good pile we also have wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom we have the nine of swords and we also have the three of pentacles we have dive deep yes uphill and we also have box so there's a lot of different energies here so let's see what blessings you have so blessings is you have someone coming in you'd stay more optimistic about your love life because someone is coming in and reconciling with you if you're waiting for communication they're coming back bitch they're coming back which is really really good we also have um a soulmate coming in so if you're looking for a partner then i can see a soulmate coming in for you if that's what you're looking for or a twin flame if that's sort of if that's a connection you know that you have also we have romantic partner new location so i see you guys you could even move into a new location like in your life like you could just want to move or you could just just generally want to you just only feel like you're in a new location in just in general like you feel like you've gone through like a tower moment you've cleansed you've detoxified you may be starting a new exercising regime that sort of thing so it could be like a new location in your life and you're transforming can you see like the butterflies in the side basically you're going to be transforming into a new person and this romantic partner is going to see you for the beautiful butterfly that you are <laughs> that you transformed and you're going to be diving more deep into a deeper relationship something that's going to be more and more like what's the word more emotionally satisfying so yes if you're wondering if this is going to improve the situation that you're thinking about then yes it will improve it has been an uphill struggle and you may have been thinking that you've been putting yourself into a box you may have felt that you're going to go uphill and it's going to be you felt like you're like restricted and like you can't move like oh, i just want this situation to improve like why isn't it improving i don't really understand what am i doing wrong you're doing nothing wrong basically everything's going to be okay and just keep nurturing yourself keep um giving yourself self-care keep nurturing your body nurturing your mind as in like meditation yoga that sort of thing with the nine of swords i definitely feel like you guys have gone through a lot of hurt and a lot of pain i feel like possibly like in the past like maybe a couple of months you've been feeling like this but now it's time to collaborate and you're going to maybe meet some new friends and you're going to dive deep in with some new relationships which is really really nice i love the fact we've got dive deep and yes because i feel like you've wanted to dive deep with somebody or you've wanted to dive deep or you've like dove deep with yourself and it's making you helping you to come out and helping you to bring in a new relationship of some sort um i feel like i need to pull a couple more cards I'm not sure why but that's what we're doing we also have turn knowledge into wisdom so i feel like you've gone through a lot of stuff and you're now turning you're now turning your knowledge into wisdom so we have spirit has a plan so if you definitely feel like you've been kind of everything's kind of on the back burner you're like why is everyone moving forward and i'm not like why basically spirit has a plan and things are moving forward for you oh wow that popped out we have spirit has your back <laughs> spirit has a plan and spirit has your back so spirit is really coming through for, <laughs> through easily here i feel like you guys could look for the number three two and four um for you and also be generous of spirit <laughs> wow spirit's really coming in quickly here so this is why i feel like you guys are like have like a really good group i didn't say it before you guys have a really good group because i feel like you guys have gone through the transformation and now you're starting to reap the rewards if you're not seeing it yet 
then you will see it soon because like if you're not seeing it yet and you're thinking vicky what are you talking about you will see something very soon you have been restricted for a long time and it's been an uphill struggle <clears throat> excuse me but no more because yes you will find the partner you, you want you will find a partner you will communicate with this partner you've wanted to communicate with you will reconnect and have more wholesome relationships so tell me and you will uh, i didn't actually realize i was doing this for my hands this means basically you're going to collaborate and kind of come together with people you've wanted to come together with and even meet your soul family i love this i love the way i love this this is so nice so we have 35 23 and 37 so all those numbers if you're kind of looking for that then basically number five five six seven eight and ten they're all really good numbers so one 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 two three and four i think are quite strong numbers so we have spirit has a plan spirit has your back and be generous of spirit <laughs> which is really cool i love this so much they're basically like all spirit related which is really funny um so i feel like i want to draw one more card with the romance angels i definitely feel like i can see you two like you two okay i can see you coming together with somebody that's why i said you two because i can see two people coming together and like hugging and being like oh my god it's been so long that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing like long distance friendships and long distance relationships as well coming together we have codependency and retreat addictions are affecting your romantic life it's time to disconnect from the world so i feel like if you feel like you are becoming more maybe so i won't say you're like addicted to something but if you are becoming more dependent on something or maybe someone just retreat from that and come more into yourself so maybe do something that really suits you maybe go for a run maybe go do some exercise some yoga i know this is crap because sometimes you think i just want to be with somebody but this is going to be really important because it's basically the universe testing you saying okay let's see if this person's going to be codependent let's see if this person is going to be dependent on another person which i know you're not like but that's kind of what i'm seeing i'm not like assuming that you are but basically that if that, if that is that is coming through in the cards so essentially i feel like you're actually moving away from the codependency and you're now retreating into a new location as i say in life and you're going to be reconciling with somebody so stay optimistic about your love life bitches <laughs> and i'm sorry if i uh, swear also by the way i just i just i love to express myself okay <laughs> so thank you guys so so much for watching um, it's just nice to come on here and to actually you guys see my face but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below don't forget to also subscribe if you would like to i also do private readings you can email me at victoria here to inspire at gmail.com the information is down below and also you can connect with me on instagram if you prefer that way of connecting so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon bye